We're here with the uh, CAD 309. It's also part of the next gen X family. 309, so how's that different from the 308? So brand new model, uh, a little bit bigger. This one has uh, extended length undercarriage on it. Uh, heavy duty, uh, basically two, two cylinder blade on it. So that's how you can tell a 309 that's got a, a longer undercarriage. You can actually get a shorter one if you want to. Uh, this machine here is basically a 308 pumped up and it's got some cool features on it. One being mostly for hydromechanical tools. It's got an extra auxiliary, dedicated auxiliary pump on it. So you know how it is if, if you're traveling an excavator and you decide to mulch over the side, you turn that mulch around, what I happens? Hate that. It's the worst, right? So we had tons of people say to us, hey, we like your machine. It's great for, for, for mulching, et cetera. But when I'm mulching like this and I'm traveling my machine and I travel, what happens to my mulching head? It dies down, right? And it takes a long time to spool up, et cetera. So this thing here, they locked it, of course. But inside there, there's an extra hydraulic pump uh, that's just dedicated to auxiliary. So you're going to get everything you want out of the machine, typically uh, with travel, great travel, et cetera, but dedicated auxiliary pump. How much horsepower does this have? This has got 70 horsepower. Uh, so uh, plenty of horsepower for the machine. Uh, obviously, um, 308 has been an amazing seller for us. One of the most popular machines in the, in the entire marketplace. The other thing is about this machine, it's got all those next gen features on it. So yeah. the idea of stick steer and for a long time, you look at the cat range, a one and a half ton machine versus a eight ton machine versus a 10 ton machine. They, they all had different ways they operated. Yeah. Now we're basically making that range to where if you get into one and a half ton or you get in a nine ton, you'll be able to do you know, operate the same way. Yeah, yeah. On the older model, similar to this, there was issues of not enough swing power. Yeah. However, I just ran a 308, first one in Canada. First one in Canada. And I tested it with a, what was it, a two ton block. Yep. So, I went up on a slope, like a good slope, and I was swinging up and I was testing it and like it's new and improved like it has so much swing power I was like being hard on the machine trying to make it not work you hard on machines yeah that's how I test stuff properly right so you got to test it yeah if you don't then how can you speak on it if you I get it. I saw you know. testing in Edwards where you the put V6? the machine yes and and the it was the first thing I did is sink the blade and try to break it off right and you didn't break it off which was good Exa yeah. I know and it's still on yeah it's still so, on there so no you I mean you picked up on something that anybody that owns a current 8 ton machine ours or anybody else you know that's kind of one of those in between sizes where you go up you got you maybe some swing torque is a little bit slower the smaller ones have, you know, don't need it as much. Right. This machine here and the 308, the new ones, have it. tons of swing yeah. torque. And you need it because yeah. you're doing lots of things with it. It's not just doing one thing or the other. So uh, this one, you put a weight on it and do what you did. 308, 309, 310, any of these, big performance in swing torque. And that, you know, that's once again, customers said, hey, machine's great. I wouldn't buy anybody else's, but if you have better swing torque, that'd be big for me. Same with lifting. I mean, th these machines, if you look at the 308, and the, you know, they're similar in some ways. Uh, the 308 is a little bit smaller than this. The 308, at full reach, you can take 3,000 pounds plus and move it around w anywhere you want. You yeah. said 2,000 some pounds you're dealing with up uh, on that slope. Uh, two tons. So 4, two tons, 000. so 4,000, yeah. It was heavy. <laughs> I mean, imagine at reach with these machines, we're lifting 60, 65% more than we did before. Yeah. And that's all, it's geometry, but it's also an uh, in, improved hydraulic system. So imagine telling a customer, hey, you like your 308 now? It's gonna lift 65% more in front of the machine because we've, we've beefed up the hydraulics. We've also uh, got the geometry squared away to where you need the weight moved around. It's really, really strong. When they redesigned this, I see they redone a bunch of the cap. Yeah. Like, I can look through almost every part of that entire machine and you have so much vision, like there's just little pillars. Yeah. It's so nicely done. The vision right here would be like amazing. 
Vision back here and even out the back of the machine and even down to the side here, it's little attention to detail. You'll see a lot of people would just cut that window yeah. and, and fill it in. Yeah. It's, it's less expensive to do that. But this machine here, as much glass as you can get, but also smaller pieces when you can. You know, a lot of people will have this one. Right. one Because to replace it. Yeah, this is going to get broken yeah. probably more likely than this. Right. Make this smaller, make it replaceable. Yeah. This cab is basically a, a unitized cab, so it's sealed. Sealed tight uh, pressurized so air conditioning is going to stay colder and and and, and the dust heating is going to stay, gonna stay in it. Uh, dust is going to stay out i mean kind of like you're used to in wheel loaders back goes bigger dozer it's sealed and pressurized it's in good shape yeah. i mean additionally with the, the visibility out the back this this guy has a camera and it, i mean it's little things but little things that make a difference to me when we're designing it we're saying you need cameras now right you want to have do. cameras yeah. And, and this one's just integrated into the counterweight, yep. right? So if you need to get to it, you pop this off and you can you can do what you need to do. But I mean, just the, the attention to detail to integrate that in. And I, you know, you're, you're, you're an equipment guy, so you know, when we first designed even these these panels, these, are, you know, our previous three-way had a big door over here that, yeah. well, you know, you know, was quite costly if you bashed it in. Well, now we've got these flat panels. So if you hit something, hopefully you're gonna hit the counterweight. They're kind of protected, sunk in. Same with this. And from a 307.5 all the way to a 310, these panels are all the same size. And they cost a fraction of what the parts did that were, that were there before them. Uh, so a lot of attention to detail. And I, I always like to point this out like to the sales folks and to customers. When you bend metal, it doesn't do that, right? Yeah. You bend it and there's a seam. And when we got these back, customers said, oh, the machine's great, but look at these little lines here. We said, you know what? If I was gonna buy a machine, quality market leader like this, I would want a nice rounded edge there. Yeah. So you round them off. Even these doors. When, I like the hex. Yeah, it's I nice. I like that. Right? And, and that's even in the design of the seat. So, you, I mean, this hex kind of carries through uh, on, on a lot of the design elements of the machine. And as we go to our new trade dress. That was my next question. You'll see more. So, so what do you think of the trade dress, the new trade dress? Uh, at first, I wasn't too fond of it. Now I absolutely love it. Yeah. It's growing on me. See, I, I think that's the reaction that a lot of us had when we went to the, the power edge that we the have same now. Thing. Everybody's like, ah, oh, I kinda like the old the old old cat and you know and some of the people before that said I like the old school cat, like the block C. Yeah. Uh, but this I think this is like anything else. You, it changes, everybody goes, I'm used to seeing this, I like this. We're going to the to the new trade dress and I, I personally am one of the people that that thinks that once it's on there, people are gonna say I like oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are people that said, hey, that sells, people like that, I'm gonna make it similar to that. So that's one of the reasons why yeah. we wanna go that way.